and we are live well when i say live i mean recording okay before we start this video you know the drill make sure you click that like button comment on this video let me know what you thought of today's results day 10 two huge upsets let's be honest and my boy my boy rafa before we go on to that make sure you subscribe as well Get that subscribe button, get that notification button to make sure you get alerted to all the new videos. Thank you very much. Now I can carry on. And one second. <sighs> Rafa Nadal on a quest to overtake and assert Roger Federer. Both on 20 slams. The quest, the race. For the most grand slams does it determine who's the best of all time who knows but either way would have been nice he's gonna have to wait till the french because stefano sits a pass my pick actually to win the australian open completely puts on a gritty performance i think to say the least and one of the best performances of his career so far two sets to love down and this is only the second time that Nadal has lost a five-set match. And we're talking about out of, oh, like, I think it was 2-2-6-2 two, 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 uh, in matches where he's been two love up um, and then he's gone on to lose. The only other person to do it, Fabio Fognini in 2015. Rafael Nadal, Why? <laughs> That's basically how I'm feeling at the moment because I just, yeah, it's sad. I wanted to try and be objective, but as you can tell, it's, it's pretty hard. Let's go into this match, though, very briefly before going on to uh, the others. So I watched pretty much all of this match and uh, live streamed it as well. And I had some really good receptions. So for those watching this video... Uh, and who also watched the stream, thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. And also all the comments and questions. And the streams are really good fun, actually. I think that's the second proper stream that we've done. We also did Djokovic versus Zverev. We will be doing Djokovic versus Karatsev tomorrow as well. Um, so, yeah, please do tune in. Ask away. Ask as many questions as you want. Make sure you like the video as well. And get involved because it was a huge amount of fun. We really enjoyed it. And... Look, I mean, Stefano sits a pass. As I said, he was my pick. But as soon as I saw that he was going to potentially play Nadal in the quarters, I was like, oh, man. And to be honest, I had a bad feeling that sits pass would win this. But then when Nadal went two sets to love up and the way he was playing was just phenomenal, I was thinking, the Nadal's got this. The Nadal's got this. Um, the forehand was just firing on all cylinders, the first two sets. And his serving, and to be fair, his serving was, I think, pretty phenomenal throughout the whole match, um, I have to say. So I don't think it was that. Um, he served so well to Sitsipas's, um forehand, actually, on the ad side. So he's serving into the forehand out wide um, on the, um, oh, sorry, on the juice side for him. So on the juice side for a right-hander, serving to Stefano Sitsipas's, uh right-hand so his forehand and uh, and really you think his weapon, but he just went big to that side, served a number of aces um, on that side. And I was really, really impressed because it's not the natural lefty serve, right? The natural lefty serve is to serve down the tee on the, on the juice side and uh, go into the backhand and kind of you automatically, you naturally get that swing away from the backhand as well. Uh, but he didn't he utilize the one to the forehand, and, but he, he really did hammer it. And I think he actually hit more aces in Sits Pass in the match as well. So really, really impressive. But it just it just wasn't to be. And I think in that third set, it went to a tie break. Sits Pass actually hadn't won a single point on the dull serve um, that whole set until the tie break. So think about this. The dolls want every game to love, but it doesn't matter. Because in tennis, it's not just about holding a serve. You've got to break or you've got to do one of the tie breaks. And Nadal, in crucial points, uh, the first uh, two of them were overheads. They hit long, which were, by his standards, very easy. Um, I think Tim Hammond said he misses like two of those a year. And then also we had um, a forehand that he just shanked, basically out, court, uh, out of court in the tie break. So it was just one of those things that 
the tie didn't go his way and Tsitsipas really just hung in there and he was more proactive, uh, a lot more impressive for me in the third set. Tsitsipas a lot more solid behind the serve, clearly. You know, he didn't get broken, um, which, you know, was a huge plus. And I think, you know, from there on, the momentum started to slip towards Tsitsipas and he definitely took that into the fourth and fifth set and ended up winning uh, three, six, two, six, seven, six, six, four, seven, five. And in that fourth and fifth set, he served well, um, I think, as well, since the past. But for me, it was actually, he just put a lot more pressure on, on Nadal's serve. Uh, returned better, came to the net at the right times, which for me is just, it was phenomenal the way he came to the net um, and chose at times to come to the net. Nadal did 100%. Um, there were a lot more unforced errors from Nadal, like 100%. There were a lot more. But you can't take anything away from Nadal because from Sitsipas, sorry, because Sitsipas was he raised his game. He raised his game. His uh, backhand was firing, forehand firing, and Nadal his forehand started to wane. Uh, a lot of unforced errors on that side. I think it, he actually ended up on more unforced errors than Sitsipas. Now you would never expect that from Nadal. You expect him to get hit off the court, but to have a more error ridden game than another opponent, apart from maybe someone like Djokovic, you just don't expect it. Uh, against anyone else so uh credit to sits pass for hanging in there weathering the storm and then coming back strong and he was very impressive and he sealed it with a fantastic backhand down the line and um on he marches and i, and I really hope that he wins it like he, he apart from nadal he's probably i think him uh team and nadal are probably my favorite players to watch on tour i mean all of them are fantastic to watch um but in terms of kind of personality and also the way they play um also i don't know them <laughs> personally but from what i can tell they seem um i've def definitely taken a liking to them but anyway so on rolls the number five c from greece and uh, as i said one of the best wins of his career and then sticking to the men's medvedev came through in straight sets against rublev the number four seed versus number seven seed seven five six three six two um i'm going to be honest and watch a whole lot of this game um but medvedev is just such a tricky opponent and now he's facing sits pass uh, Sitsipas has come through a five-setter. He did also, though, get a walkover against Berrettini. I'm assuming he's still going to be pretty fresh. Uh, they've also got two days now, so they're playing on the Friday. Uh, I think the safe money's on Medvedev because he's made a Grand Slam final before. Um, Sitsipas is someone who I think he's going to have to really adapt, and it's going to be such a different type of player. Uh to what he just faced against Nadal, who's heavy topspin. Medvedev is someone who hits the ball very low with the net. It's very skiddy, very awkward. Uh, so interesting to see how how uh, Sitsipas adapts. Um, I think you know it's difficult to not edge slightly towards Medvedev, but let's see how it goes. I think it's going to be a fantastic match and uh, the next gen superstars, right? Like it really is, and fantastic to see that one of them will make the final. Uh, moving into the women's, <sighs> Ashbot. This is the biggest upset. Like the Nadal one's a big upset, but for me, I wouldn't have been I, like I wasn't so surprised at Sisvas winning. Like if Sisvas had won that in straight sets, I would have been like, Phew. like you know, do you know what I mean? Like I just, it just wasn't for me. Even as a Nadal fan, I just know at the Australian, he's only won it once. Um, I know he's won the US Open four times, and I know that he's still a very good player on on the hard. But Sisvas is suited; his game is more suited to it. And he's a very good player, and I just I wouldn't I'm never surprised if someone like Sispas would beat Nadal because he's he's very good. Machova, on the other hand, the 25 seed from the Czech Republic, uh, she upset Pliskova, um, and now she's gone on this little run. She's gone on a very good run, and she's beaten. She's beaten the number one seed Ash Barty, the home favorite from Australia. Ash Barty took the first set six one, but after that is all Machova six. So she ended up winning one six six three six two. Um, and to be honest with you, like what an upset. I, I just thought I'm going to be honest and I have to apologize to Matrova because I just thought this is going to be an easy win for Ash Barty. Wasn't to be great win from Matrova. She marches on and she'll be facing uh, the number 22 seed from America, Jennifer Brady, who beat Pagula, who's been on a fantastic run of form, uh, but beat her 4 6 6 2 6 1. And uh, they'll be facing off in the semi. So th we'll, we will have 100% a new. Grand Slam finalist in the women's um, because neither of these players have made a Grand Slam final. And in the other Grand Slam semi-final, 
um, for the women's, you've got Osaka versus Serena, which, I mean, and no offence to these guys, but they would, I think they would happily have me say that that, that could easily be a final. Because those, those two have won Grand Slams. Serena, I mean, she's arguably the GOAT of, of tennis. So, yeah, I mean, just incredible, incredible stuff. And uh, really looking forward to that. Okay. Um, matches to watch tomorrow. Um, because I don't think I need to do a moment in surprise. It's surprise that it is obvious. Ash Barty, come on. Getting beat to the number one seed. She, would be, she was one of the favourites. Home favourite, uh, losing to Matrova. And uh, moment of the day for me, sits a pass with that back and down the line to seal it against Nadal. Uh, matches to watch tomorrow. I mean, there is a f- there's a lot. There's a lot to look forward to, isn't there? Um, there really is. I mean, tomorrow there is uh, Djokovic versus Karatsev, which is an absolute peach. Like, absolute peach. And when I say absolute peach, I really mean it. Interesting that they've got two, two both... Um, Women's semi-finals tomorrow, so Saka versus Serena, then Matrova versus Brady, and then uh, they've also got Medvedev versus sorry, um, Djokovic versus Karatsev. But then on Friday they've got Medvedev versus Tsitsipas. So three games to look forward to tomorrow. So, but only one on the Friday. Not sure why, but normally you have the semi-finals of the women's on Thursday and men's on Friday. They've changed it. Not sure why, but fair enough. I guess it's probably more fair for someone like Tsitsipas and Medvedev so they can get more rest maybe. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, it's an interesting one. But anyway, for me, Djokovic versus Karatsev is, uh, I mean, of course, you need to look out for that. Uh, Karatsev has been on a fantastic run. I mean, he's unseeded. What a story. And I'll tell you what, if he beats Djokovic, uh, this will go down as one of the best runs I've ever seen in my life. Like from a, it's his first ever Grand Slam. Like this is just ridiculous. Um, if he goes on to win it, one of the best stories I've ever seen. I'm not even joking. In terms of uh, the women's, though, and I think the match to watch for me is Osaka versus Serena. Like, how could it not be? Even more than Djokovic and Karatsev. What a, what a match. Um, Osaka, for me, the slight favourite. She was my pick to win the tournament as well. Just think she's going to have slightly too much, but who knows? I mean, you can never count out, arguably, the GOAT. Um, the, you know, the biggest GOAT ever in Serena Williams. So let's see. Okay, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Please make sure you do like and comment on this video. Subscribe to the channel for more updates. And as I said, we'll be doing a live stream with Djokovic versus Kratsev tomorrow as well. Um, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much, guys, and thank you.